What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am partnering up with Sir Colors to bring you guys another exciting spring release from them. This time we've got the Aura collection. So this collection is actually coming out tomorrow and we've got six brand new polishes that are actually magnetic. So they're actually not like any magnetic nail polishes I've used before. Instead of that like line of magnet that you would normally see these ones actually kind of create this crazy crushed velvet look but let me back up a little bit if you guys haven't heard of Sir Colors before they are an independent nail polish brand based in the US they are 10 free meaning they are free of 10 of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish they are vegan and they are cruelty free but yeah so they came out with six brand new magnetic nail polishes so when you look at them in the bottle they basically just look like really beautiful metallic shades but when you add a magnet to them in a specific way it kind of creates this crazy like three-dimensional shimmer. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to show it to you guys. I was actually a little intimidated when I first saw these, but they're actually really easy to use. Basically, after you have your base coat on, you just apply a generous layer of the first coat. Then you immediately take the wand while the polish is still wet and kind of move it around your nail for 30 seconds to a minute. And then as it dries that first layer, you're going to start to see some of that three-dimensional shimmer come out. And then once that's dry you go in with your second coat which is also going to be a relatively generous layer you go ahead and you move that little magnet around and then of course you can finish off with your top coat but yeah it's actually super funky i love that each nail kind of turned out a little bit different but before i spoil anything else let me just show you guys the swatches so roll footage as usual just using my base coat underneath all of my swatches to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains today i am using the cirque base coat so i will link it down in the description for anybody who is interested. So first up in this collection, we have the shade Halo, which is a taupe brown. I'm also just showing you guys a bottle shot of each one with the magnetic wand applied to it, just so you can see what it looks like when all of that silvery magnetic pigment is concentrated. But here it is on the nail. And honestly, all of these shades I think are actually really beautiful if you ever decided to wear them on their own without the magnetic effect, but the magnet effect is super cool. So as you can see, I am just kind of waving the wand around. What I do first with each one, one is I hover the wand over the center of my nail and then once that's all gathered I kind of move it around in a circle around the edges of my nail to collect any of that and it doesn't look like much when you first do it but once it dries you start to see that sort of three-dimensional magnetic pigment coming through I don't really understand how it works I'm just very impressed by it but here it is in that second coat and you can already start to see how it creates that three-dimensionality and just adding that magnet over it kind of heightens it in the second coat and I'm just kind of moving it around. It is recommended that you do it in a diagonal pattern, which is what I'm doing. Of course, since I am applying this over my non-dominant hand, the logo's upside down, but don't mind that. <laughs> anyway, here it is once it's dry and you can see all of that magnetic pigment is almost like suspended in between the coats and it creates this really wild three-dimensional effect and any way that you move your nails, it's going to shine the light on it differently and it just looks so cool. Next up we have the shade Bay, aka Big Aura Energy and this one as you can see is a really beautiful soft pink metallic and again this is just another one they all look really gorgeous on their own but you can see just how light and bright and dimensional this color is even without the magnet but the magnet just makes it super cool it almost kind of changes these from looking like a metallic polish to looking like a jelly with silvery pigment in them so that was just something really cool that I noticed and as you can see kind of moving that around it almost creates this jelly like effect on the nails I am gonna end up speeding this up just because like I said it does take 30 seconds to a minute to make sure that all of that pigment is moved around properly so for the rest of the swatches, we're going to kind of speed this part up. So here is that second coat going on. And another really interesting thing about this one and some of the others as well is the color base itself looks so much lighter when the magnetic pigment hasn't been affected. But once you do, you get a lot more depth of that color and you can already see that it's kind of developing into this deeper rosy kind of pink color, which is really gorgeous. And I think that really adds the dimensionality of it. And like I said, when you're moving your nail around when you hit it in different lights it looks like that lighter polish again so it's just I don't know it's a really surreal effect I gotta say very impressed with this 
Next up we have the shade Clairvoyant, which is a really beautiful warm toned purple magnetic shade. And let me tell you my excitement about seeing that there are two different purples in this collection. I love a good purple. There's also a green by the way. So this whole collection just really has my heart. But yeah, you can see in the first coat, this is a super light polish. And like I said, just speeding up this part here. One thing to note is you do wanna work relatively quickly to make sure that you're putting the magnet over your nail before that coat dries. That's one of the reasons why you should do a relatively thick layer for each coat. You want to make sure that the polish isn't drying immediately and you want to work one nail at a time to make sure that you're getting that full effect on each nail. So here like with the pink you can see that color is really deepening a lot once you move around that magnetic pigment and then you get those little bursts of lightness where the magnetic pigment has shown through and created that really beautiful 3D effect. This one I don't I don't know what I did differently, but this one kind of almost had like a radial magnetic effect to it, which I think is actually really cool. I'm definitely going to play around to see if I can recreate that, but I did try to do the same method for each one. Each nail is going to, of course, look a little bit different, but that is actually one of the things that I love about these types of manicures is each nail kind of looks unique. Next up, we have the shade Oracle, which is a really stunning, super cool toned purple that has, again, that magnetic pigment running throughout and oh my gosh this color is so stunning I was actually a little bit sad at the thought of magnetizing this one just because the color by itself looks so beautiful on the nails and I just love that metallic white silvery pigment showing through just absolutely stunning but once I did apply the magnet I found that I actually liked it even more so the cool thing is you can choose whether to magnetize or not magnetize and you basically get two polishes out of the deal because sometimes you can do it and create this 3d velvet effect and sometimes you can just wear it as a beautiful metallic polish so I always like to think of polishes that way but yeah so here it is on the second coat once I applied that magnet and this one looks so beautiful Beautiful. It almost reminds me a little bit of a starry night sky and as I shift my nail around you can see more of those little starry flecks in there so definitely loved this one the most. Next up we have the shade Mind Over Matter and this is a really gorgeous icy blue. This one was a little bit sheer on the first coat as some of the lighter ones are. You can see there is a little bit of visible nail line but when you have that effect over it you can still see the visible nail with I believe all of these but it kind of gets covered up based on how you're moving your nail. I think you could definitely do a third coat of this, but since they are that jelly-like formula with the glitter suspended in it, you're probably still going to get that visible nail line regardless. Honestly, I feel like it kind of adds to the look. It's almost like you have this really interesting texture over your nails and they just happen to be in really interesting colors. So you guys know I really enjoy a good bit of visible nail line lately. <laughs> so here this one is in the second coat. And again, we have that really beautiful beautiful radial kind of glow to it and again I just love the way that these look when you move around I feel like the video doesn't even do these justice it's just such a cool effect and last but definitely not least we have the shade good vibes only which is a really beautiful almost pastel-y green shade and this one is such a beautiful base color I absolutely love it I love seeing that Cirque did these colors especially because they did two purples and a green so really what more could you you ask for in a collection but I really do love the range of colors here. I'm very curious to see if they could create this type of polish in more colors so hopefully they can do more of those because the ones that I have are absolutely stunning so far. So here it is in the second coat. Man this color by itself is just also super gorgeous but I just can't resist doing that magnetic effect. It really is so cool. So here it is once it is dried with that really beautiful magnetic effect and again it just has that really beautiful 3D crushed velvet effect. How many times have I said that in this video so far? Probably a lot, but that's really the best way to describe it if you ask me. <laughs> so here are all of these shades together. And honestly, I was a little bit hesitant about putting up this screenshot because these polishes, you really can't see the vibrance and dimensionality of them in just a picture. Seriously, it doesn't do them justice at all. It's a good way to see what base color you're working with, but honestly, the true 
true beauty in these nails lies when you're kind of moving your hand around and when the light hits it. So definitely don't be dissuaded by this screen grab. It's definitely a lot cooler in video and in person. So yeah, those are the polishes. And like I said, I was actually really intrigued with these. They were a lot more fun than I expected. And like I said, I was a little nervous, but it's super easy, very beginner friendly. And I really love that almost like crushed velvety kind of effect. Like I always thought that matte top coat made things look like velvet, but I feel like this really looks like velvet. <laughs> like not even just velvet, it's like that that fabric that's like super shimmery. I don't know what that's called. I sound like a doofus right now. Let me just keep going. So these polishes come in the usual 11 milliliter bottles. And like I said, these polishes are coming out tomorrow as the posting of this video. So I will link them down in the description below and that'll be updated once the polishes actually come out. We also have the double-sided magnetic wand from Sir and that retails for $5 USD. So yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think. What do you think of this trend? Are you planning on picking any of these up? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts on it. If you enjoyed my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Stacy, and Stacy wants to know, is there any TV show or movie that you never get tired of watching? So this is actually kind of tough because I feel like for the most part, I really don't rewatch stuff. However, I will say during that time of the month, I always go back to the same few movies. I feel like this is actually embarrassing, but you know, like you can sometimes get a little emotional and sometimes you need to cry a little bit. And there are some movies that like probably outside of my period, I wouldn't actually cry at all. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't watched them outside of my period, but the ones that I always watch are uh, Stuck in Love and The Wedding Date. There's actually a few. About Time is one of them. Let me, let me look at my IMDb here because... I'm pretty sure there's more than that. It's really Stuck in Love and The Wedding Date, I feel like are, are my top two. Uh, also, occasionally Adventureland. I feel like that's not a movie to cry to at all, but for some reason it kind of gets me. <laughs> but I will say, like, honestly, that's not my usual taste in movies at all. Like, I'm really not a rom-com person. But in terms of like, like I'm also still looking at my IMDb list here, but like shows that I've watched more than once, um, oh, well, the Shining is a great movie, but it's extremely long, so I don't know how often I could watch that. Avatar The Last Airbender have watched multiple times. Gotham on the CW, I've watched that multiple times. Frozen, can't get enough of that. And Frozen 2, obviously. Oh, you know what else is actually a really good movie? Blood Diamond. That's a really good movie. Just in general, good movie. There's also a lot of movies that I like to watch, like, around Halloween. And then there's a few that I like to watch around Christmas time. But yeah, those are those are probably the main ones. But outside of that, I really try not to repeat movies because I feel like there's so much content to get that like I want to watch as much of it as I can. So I try not to repeat too much. But yeah, if you guys have any ones to add, then you can you can leave them down below. And if you think there's any other good period movies to watch, you know, let me know. I could use another good cry. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.